here this morning. We have uh, had some, some difficulties uh, starting out on this morning, so y'all will just bear with us, and we know that things will uh, be all right. Uh, we have uh, started a little bit late this morning, but we know that uh, God is still in the best people business, and we ask that you just bear with us, and uh, things will be well.
transportation to take me to and fro. The Lord is my shepherd. I'm present on uh, this Sunday morning. I am present on this Sunday morning. The Lord is my shepherd. I want to say first that, that uh, we do wish all a wonderful and good holiday weekend. We know this is our Memorial Day weekend. And certainly we are mindful of all the, uh, the veterans and all those who are uh, in our the military and the hospitals and police and fire. Our first responders and I just so mindful, mindful of those though. who have gone on and who the COVID virus have, have, have taken on and those uh, that are suffering now. Uh, we certainly keep you in our prayers. We know that uh, it's difficult and, uh, for all that are uh, going through this and in this situation. And we continue to, to pray for you and pray in, in a mighty way. And also for, for uh, Deacon Warwick, we just ask that you uh, continue to pray for him uh, as he goes through his illness. If you have your Bible just for uh, a few moments, if you bear with me just for a few moments now. In the book of Second Chronicles, the, the chapter is seven. And I, I want to look at just uh, a few verses here out of this text. Second Chronicles chapter seven. And we're looking at verses number uh, 12 through 14. And the Bible reads as follows. And the Lord appeared unto Solomon by night, this is at night time. And he said unto him, I've heard a prayer, and I have chosen this place to myself as a house of sacrifice. Verse 13, if I shut up heaven, there be no more rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among the people. Fourteen, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray. And see my face turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Just for a few moments, I want to talk from a subject. God's recipe for healing. God's recipe for healing. 
everything else will fall in line. This text right here, this was a remnant uh, of Jews, a small number of Jews uh, uh, that had been exiled from Babylon. Well, they find themselves in a bad situation. They find themselves having no way out. Seems like uh, America has no way out. Uh, uh, but uh, that seems that God was through them. Blessing was through him. For them, they said again. See, the blessing, Lord, how you get the blessing? You have to go through him for them. The blessing was for the Jews, but you have to go through him. So you can get the blessing to them. America, what's going to happen? We got to go to him <laughs> to get the blessing for them. We are the them. But what you have to do uh, is let's go to him first. Uh, when you get to him first, uh, and then we can get to uh, the them. You know, we're just uh, a small number. It's God Almighty that sees us through uh, America, God first, uh, and then the blessing of healing uh, will come to us. Please, what I'm saying? We got it wrong. You said, let me, let me go to the government. Let me go to, and I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with government. I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with doctors. I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with the scientists. But if you put God first, then the blessing will come. Uh, yes, I do go to the doctor. I believe in the doctor, my great scientists. But I know one that is greater than all. God says, if you follow my recipe, Lord, I bless you, then you know what I'm going to do? I'll heal the land. Listen to the simplicity of it. It just gets on my, my nerve when it's so simple uh, that you can get the blessing. When it's so uh, simple that you can just get the blessing, God. It's, it's simple that I can go and I can do, God. Even me, I'm not a cook, but you know what? I can make me some jiffy cornbread. I'm not a cook, but I can make me some jiffy cornbread. Well, how are you going to make jiffy cornbread? I'm glad you asked that question. I'm going to make it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to follow this little recipe right here. And when you come over, you're going to say, man, this is a good cornbread. Not because I was so smart. I just follow the recipe. Simple. I just follow the recipe. I got my, my pot, put my ingredients in there, stir it up, set the oven on 400, slid it in the oven, waited about 20 minutes, took it out, it was all golden and brown, just like that. Why? Because I followed the, the recipe. Now, 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 we want healing in our land. What we need to do is just follow the recipe. Look at God, look at God, look at God. He says, then... If my people that are called by my name, if my people that are called by my name, I want to give you four things, and then you can have some healing. God, that sounds too simple. That's what us. See, we always mess something up, but we think we're so smart. You know, sometimes I think God just makes things too simple for us. He just lays it out so simple. You do this, you do this, you do this, and I, I bless you. No, I don't know. I think we need to do that. No, you don't. You just need to follow God's recipe. Look at the recipe. Well, I've got humility, prayer, seek, turn. He said, first, what do you want me to do, God? If the nation need healing, if uh, uh, the states need healing, uh, if the city need healing, if our neighborhood need healing, if our homes need him, what should I do? He said, well, i tell you what I want you to do. I want you to humble yourself. First one, humble yourself. Stop thinking too much of yourself. Stop saying, I'm all that in a bag of chips because you're not. You know, I'm so smart. I can do this, I can do that. No, 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 no. You're not so smart. You're blessed. We are blessed. You know, I'm so smart. No, 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 no. You're blessed. That's what we are. He said, I want you to do first thing. I want you to do is humble yourself. America, humble yourself. Yeah. Oh, we're so great. We are so wonderful. No, no, no. Humble yourself. You know, humble yourself. I'm telling you how to get the blessing. I'm telling you. You know, you know. If somebody says, you know what? I'm going to give you $100. This is what I want you to do. I want you to go over here to the, on the left side. I want you to stand over here two minutes. Then I want you to go over here to the right side. Stand two minutes, uh, and then I want you to kneel down and bend over like this. Yeah. Follow the recipe. I'm trying to get the $100. You know, and, and then 
and say nothing uh, uh, that's a power. So he said, first thing I want you to do uh, uh, is to humble yourself. The second thing he says that's on his recipe is uh, and pray. I don't know what you think about prayer, but prayer is our communication line to God Almighty. If you never, ever, and we, we always grabbing our cell phones to talk to somebody, you know, but why don't you get your mind and call up Jesus from your mind, from that spirit down in you. Call up Jesus. Pray. And I like what James says. He says, this feeling, this fervent prayer, not just any kind of prayer, you know, when you pray, you ought to feel your prayer. When you talk to God, you ought to feel the presence of God there. When you talk to God, you ought to pray to him like he's right here and I'm talking to you. you when you talk to God, he's just standing there listening to you and you're talking to him. That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah, that's what I'm talking about. When you talk to God, don't talk to him like a stranger. Don't talk to him like somebody way on the other end of the street. But you talk to him like he's standing before you right there. The fervent prayer of the righteous man, the righteous woman, it weighs much. It's, it, it weighs on God when you call and when you talk to God. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> when you're righteous, God bends his ear. I wish I had time to preach right here. Preach one time. See, see, when the righteous person calls on God, he bends his ear. You ever been in the crowd? And most of all, you have had children. I used to pick up a kid sometimes when they went to school. Three, four hundred kids out there. I could call my child's name. Ha! You don't get me. Y'all don't get me. I could call my child's name. Or my child would see me in the air in the crowd and I don't see them. And they would say, Daddy. All the rest of the kids are saying daddy. But when my child said, Whoa! Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? I said, but when my child called my name, when you're God's children and, and you call on God through prayer, God may be talking to the Holy Spirit. Uh, he may be talking to the Father, but he stopped and said, <laughs> what'd you say, Father James? <laughs> what do you want? What do you like? The prayer, the prayer of the righteous, it availed much. I'm humble. That's my first ingredient. Second ingredient. I pray to him. That's my second ingredient. Then my third ingredient. Seek my face. Seek me. Seek me. Look for me. Lord, I pray for Seek me. Where are you? I'm always looking for you, God. I'm always looking for you. <laughs> I'm all, you, know what, you know what that means? That don't mean running around looking like this. That means he's forever on your mind. Ha! He's the name. He's always on your mind. Even through the day, I, I may not be sitting in a church, uh, and I may not have my Bible in my arm, uh, but he's always uh, on uh, my mind. When I'm driving, he's on my mind. When I get a quiet spot, he's on my mind. And sometimes through the day, you know what I do? Uh, I just thank him. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me this far. Uh, seek. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye the kingdom of God what? first. Seek ye the kingdom of God first. He said, and all these things will be added unto you. I just want you to seek me. That's part of my recipe. That, that, that's my recipe. Ha! <laughs> what you've done, you've already, you have humility, you, know, you pray, and now I want you to seek me. I got one last one. He said, after this one, he said, if, if you do these things, I'll heal the land. You know, why? 
want you to turn from your wicked ways. Turn from those ugly thoughts. Turn away, yeah, from the stuff that runs through your mind this day. Turn. Now, when you turn, don't turn all the way around. I want you to turn from it. Turn from, turn from it simply means that you turn the opposite way. The opposite way. Don't turn all the way around. Turn. He said, if you turn from your wicked ways, turn uh, from what you've been doing, turn how you've been thinking, turn from what you've been saying, turn from where you've been going, turn! So this turn! Once you turn, you know, my bread's almost done here. I've got all my bread, it's almost done. Uh, but before it's completed uh, and nice and brown on top, uh, uh, you're going to have to turn. You have to turn if you want to, uh, to get the blessing of the cornbread. If you want the blessing of the healing, you want to turn. America, you want to turn. We need to stop all this corruption. Stop all this killing. Stop all this crime. Stop all this backpack. Stop all this racial myth. Uh, all of us is nothing but dust anyway. You ain't nothing but a pile of dirt. Whether you're white, black, brown, purple, it doesn't make no difference. When you die, from dust we'll come, and to dust we shall return. Turn from the evil ways, he said. <laughs> I like this. Let the wicked forsake her ways. Turn from your unrighteous thoughts. Once you turn, let me check my bread again. Guess what? You know, it's brown enough now. It's ready for our consumption. We are ready now, Lord, for the healing. What do you mean when you're ready for the healing? Lord, we have done your recipe. And when I've done the recipe, you know what happens when you've done this recipe? There is an expectation. There is an expectation that the bread is going to come out all right. When I do my part, put all the ingredients in, God, Lord have mercy, will surely, will surely complete his part. I'm not worried about the healing. You know what my concern is? My concern is us following the recipe. I ain't worried about the healing. God's going to do this. But I'm worried about us following us. The recipe. America, get on board. Let's follow God's recipe. And I guarantee you, everything will come out well. Uh, it's the recipe for healing. You want to heal the nation? You want to heal the states? You want to heal the city? You want to heal your neighborhood? You want to heal your house? Uh, all you have to do is use God's uh, recipe for healing. And he will do the rest if you fulfill the recipe. You all do this recipe and it will come out well for you. I want to say to you, be blessed.